So let's look at the divisibility rule for six. So there's name we can find there. The rule for six is that any number that is divisible by both two and three is also divisible by six. So let's take a look at that. Let's say we have a number 990 there on the left. And I want to say, is that divisible by six? Well, first of all, I'll see that immediately it's divisible by two because I see it ends in zero. And if I want to check if it's divisible by three, I add up its digits. So nine plus nine is equal to 18. And obviously plus zero is equal to 18. And 18 is also divisible by, by three. It's divisible by both two and three. So when I look at this number, 990 is divisible by both two and three. So 990 should also be divisible by six. And you take a look at it, actually it is. So six will go into 990 165 times without any leftovers, without any remainder, so to speak. So any number that's divisible by two and three is also divisible by six. I take the number 24 up there on the right. So 24, I can see, is divisible by two because it ends in four. And if I add up the two plus four, that's equal to six. So I know that it's divisible by both two and three. So it's also divisible divisible by six. So that's just a simple rule for you to think about that any number that is divisible by two and three is also divisible by six.